Hello everyone, my name is Bethany and this is my channel Denise Thoughts. Today I am doing an ebook haul because um, I've been re buying a ton of ebooks right now on my for my Kindle. This is my Kindle. It has purple. Mostly because there's so many good things going on sale right now. Mostly because I've been from following BookTube and Bookstagram. I've just been seeing so many recommendations that sound so good. So I've just been kind of going a little bit on a spending spree. And I wanted to share what I've bought so far. So without further ado, I'll go ahead and go through these. I'm gonna, probably going to go through these. I mean, there's like 15 of them. So I'm probably going to go through them really, really quickly and then kind of tell you my level of excitement for these things, for these particular books. The first one is um, Beverly Jenkins' Destiny series. She had three of them on sale for $1.99, I believe over the weekend. And I bought all three of them because I've been really wanting to read Beverly Jenkins. Uh, she's been, she's a black author and she's been in the romance industry for a while. I feel like she's also just inspired a lot of the newer generation that's ready now, like Alyssa Cole, Kennedy Ryan. Um, so she, cause like I said, she's been doing it for a heck of a long, a heck of a long time, like in the eighties, I believe eighties or nineties. So I've been really, really wanted to read her and, um, I felt like the Destiny series gets a lot of hype. So I figured I'd check it out. The first one is Destiny's Embrace. I, so I guess the town is called Destiny. But this one's kind of got a Western theme. Like, he's a rancher and she's a housekeeper. Uh, so I think that's like a close proximity type of situation. They kind of bicker and bicker and it starts to build and build and things happen. And yeah, I'm super excited for that. That sounds really good. The next one being Destiny's Captive. I've been seeing rave reviews for this one from Peace Love Books and Lacey I want to say one or two others have really, really loved um, Destiny's Captive. It's pirates, and I'm not going to lie, I'm not a big fan of pirate romances. Um, they're not usually my favorite, I think, because pirates are really dirty and gross. <laughs> like, I have a really hard time getting past that to be able to enjoy the sexy scenes. <laughs> but... I'm going to push that aside, and um, this one sounds really good. Basically, it's it sounds like a one-night stand a uh, situation where a sea captain gets involved with a woman and then she steals his ship and because she like has pirate ancestry herself and he goes to go find her. So I'm here for that. That sounds like a lot of fun. The uh, next one is Destiny Surrender. That one, um, a woman shows up with a child that she claims is his from a one night stand. A series of events happens where they do a marriage convenience. So that's a Destiny series. The next one I have uh, set up is Alyssa Cole, The AI Who Loved Me. So Alyssa Cole is also a black author. Uh, she originally did this story on Audible. I don't have an Audible account. I don't usually listen to a whole heck of a lot of audiobooks on my phone. It, it sounds really fun uh, and sounds different. Trinity and Lee. Lee moves in next door um, and Trinity observes some really odd behavior from him. And, and it turns out he's an AI and she's starting to develop feelings for him. Which is very complicated because he's super human-like, but doesn't really necessarily know how to be a human. And is he even capable of love? I don't know if there's a lot of AI romances. Is that a thing? Does that exist? Let me know. But Alyssa Cole, she's queen. I have yet to have read anything by her that I do not like. So I'm definitely willing to give it a shot and see how it is. Uh, so yeah, originally it was Audible. It came out mm, a few months ago, and then now she released it in an ebook format. So super excited to read that. The next one I had, I, I went ahead and bought that was also on sale was Julie Garwood by The Secret. Again, Peace Love Books and Lacey. And I think a couple others raved about The Secret by Julie Garwood. And this is about Judith and Ian? Ian? I-A-I-N? There's a certain pronunciation from that that's like Scott or something. I just don't know how to do it. I'm really terrible with names. They, he's like a Highlander clansman, leader of his clan. He's his got her guide to visit her father. And he starts following for her on their trip. But there's a secret about her father that she doesn't know yet. And she's never met her father. I've read maybe a couple Julie Garwoods, but I haven't read a whole heck of a lot of her. Um, but from what I've, from some of the books I've read, uh, I've, I've always liked her. I just never really, it was interested in going into her backlist. But this might change that. Um, like I said, Peace Love Books and Lacey were giving it rave reviews. And so it was one of their favorite historicals ever. So that's pretty high praise. So excited, excited about that. 
If you can't tell, a lot of these are romance. But I have a couple other random ones first in, like this one. So this is Aurora Rising by Jay Kristoff and Amy Kaufman. They're famous for the Illuminae Files series. I read Illuminae, really, really liked it. I haven't finished the rest of the series, only because life and because um, I was doing it as a library book and libraries have been closed. So, but this is their new series. I'm willing to try it out and see it. I've been seeing a lot of booktube giving it rave reviews. The second book just recently came out, I believe, I want to say, Aurora Burning. Yeah, basically it's about ragtag space team who find Aurora in a, she's like in hydro sleep, uh, for two centuries and they wake her up and apparently her presence being there triggers a war. I'm not quite sure how that works, but Illuminae Files was really good at world building and I think this will be the same. So I love a good sci-fi series, so I'm here for it. I'm totally willing to check it out and see how it goes. The next book I bought was The Highwaymen by Kerrigan Byrne, and this was also a Lacey romance recommendation, and this is Dorian who captures Farah, and in so doing, he does it basically, I guess, to get back at his enemies in some way. I don't know how that's how they're connected or how Farah is connected to his enemies, but um, she decides, but I guess someone's threatening her life, and so she decides to set up a deal with him to um, marry her, a marriage of convenience. So he gets back at his enemies, and she gets protection from him. But of course, she's more than he bargained for, and they start falling in love. So um, I've never read Kerrigan before, so I'm interested to check her out. The next one is definitely I've gotten a lot of attention on BookTube and Book Twitter and Goodreads, I've seen a lot of my friends on Goodreads read it, is The Bromance Book by Lissa K. Adams. So this is a marriage on the rocks that gets like a second chance. So I'm not going to lie, I like second chance romances where it's from their past and they reconnect and they have and they may have been together but not necessarily married. I don't usually like second chance marriage romances when they're already married. I don't know why. It's not really a favorite trope of mine, but maybe I need to read more of them. I have only read a few. It's a few, and it's been a while since I read them, so I'm willing to give it a shot. It's gotten really a lot of, lot of rave reviews. So um, this is Gavin and Thea, and apparently he's not good in the back of her bedroom and isn't giving her her due, and he decides to woo his wife back, and he finds a um, book club that are a bunch of alpha males that are reading romance books. That sounds kind of fun. I'm willing to see what those characters look like and what this book club looks like. It sounds cute. It sounds interesting. Willing to give it a shot. The next book I got is Sex Says by Max Monroe. That was a, also, I don't know if it's still on, I don't know if these are still on sale, but they were when I bought them, which was probably, this one was probably a couple weeks ago. This was a uh, also a really cheap book and um, also recommended by Lacey. I think I found it on her Instagram. And this one sounds really fun because this is Reed and Lola and they are dueling columnists. So Lola writes a column called Sex Says where she's like a sex, like she gives advice, um, sex advice for her advice on her advice column and Reed does an, uh, an anti-sex says column sold. I'm a sucker for like dueling columnists dueling writers like there's just something about that trope that I really, really love so that sounds fun I'm willing to definitely check that out the next one is Insatiable by Melanie Harlow this is a friends to lovers small town romance she somehow walks in on him taking a shower and things happen and they try to keep it casual but things end up starting to turn serious so I've it's gotten some mixed reviews I haven't read Melanie Harlow though before, so I'm willing to try it out and see and check her out. So kind of intrigued. I'm always, I always really enjoy a small town romance. The next one I downloaded is My Fake Rake by Eva Lee. I really just love the concept of it. It was like a My Fair Lady gender swap. Like she's teaching him how to be the perfect man and like he's got like this nerdy image and she's like trying to like reinvent him to the perfect man to basically get another guy jealous. And, and they're both like science nerd, like they're like associates of each other and they work together. And so a fake dating trope, nerdy protagonists, and like a My Fair Lady gender swap 
all the tropes that I'm here for. Definitely. I really, really want to check that out. I'm really excited about it. I've heard good things. So yeah, definitely excited for that one. The next one I have lined up is going to be The Billionaire's Fake Fiance by Annika Martin. This was also a recommendation from Lacey. This is about Rex and Tabitha. Rex is having to clean up his Playboy image for his job and for his career. And Tabitha is his hairdresser. And apparently he's a big, big grump, and she's a sunshine type character. So he needed to find someone that he knew, like, wouldn't ask for more. And he wouldn't, like, have feelings for either. So he was like, I'm never going to like this this girl, um, his hairdresser. And so she goes along with it. And, of course, sunshine and grumps, man. They're a great, great couple pairing to get together. So, of course, things happen, though. It sounds really cute. And... I'm here for it. The next one is also not a romance, kind of went off the grid again. This one is The English Wife by Lauren Willig. Um, I really like Lauren Willig's The Pink Carnation series, which I believe I have behind me. There, there, there. So I love her historical stuff because usually it'll be a little bit of romance, a little bit of mystery, a little bit of spy intrigue. Like, it'll all have a lot of layers to it, and I really like her storytelling. This one sounds a little bit more... Um, I don't know if there's gonna be a lot of romance in this one. This seems a little bit more like serious. This is more mystery. So it's about a married couple who seem to have the absolute perfect life. They live in a beautiful house. They have all these parties. They're, you know, really well to do. They have these three-year-old twins. Everything seems great. And then one day the uh, husband is stabbed and killed. The wife is presumed drowned. And the sister-in-law, who's a sister of the husband, uh, wants to investigate their murder and try to figure out what happened. Because she's like, there's no way my brother would have killed his his wife. And, I don't know, things are a lot darker than they seem. It's a Gilded Age romance, so a little bit of a historical element there. Yeah, it sounds, so yeah, it sounds kind of dark and deep and seems kind of interesting. So I'm excited about that. Last one. Last one. Last one I bought. Uh, is going to be Wallbanger by Alice Clayton. So I've seen this cover before. I've It's been out for quite a while. I feel like I know a lot of romance readers who have read it, and I've heard really good things, and it's supposed to be really steamy. So it's about Caroline and Simon, and they are neighbors, and there are thin walls. So Simon apparently is uh, famous for his wall banging other partners and the thin walls and Caroline is herself very sexually frustrated apparently. She decides to visit one day on one of his uh, wall banging sprees and things get interesting from there. Sounds like a whole lot of fun so I'm here for it. Sounds great. This is the, my ebook haul guys. See? Super short went through it really quickly. There's a lot of really good things here. I'm excited by so many of them. Oh man, it's going to be tough to get to some of these. Some of these I actually have, like Wallbanger I'm reading for um, my Olympic Games readathon this month and um, the Bromance book I believe I think I have. It's a, it's a lot of good fun, fun times. Let me know in the comments if you've read any of these. Let me know in the comments what you've bought recently that you're really excited about. I'd love to hear and hear your recommendations for what's new, what's interesting to you that you're checking out. Thank you so much for watching my video. Please subscribe, like, comment, bells and whistles and, and, and things, and follow me on the social medias that I link down below. I have a new bookstagram, so you can go check that out. That's all it for now. Thank you so much for watching my video. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. Bye!